We're back with another day of solving uh, inequalities. We're going to be doing some two-step inequalities um, as we go through three-step, four-step, whatever. Um, if you see the tail behind me, it's my dog. She's just deciding to come sit by me. Um, we just go with it here, right? Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is start by distributing. So we're going to end, <laughs> end up with negative 6x minus 10 is greater than 40. I'm going to start by adding 10 to both sides. Okay, so I have negative 6x is greater than 50. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. Okay. Ugh, there we go. Um, all right, so then what happens when we multiply or divide by a negative number is we need to flip the sign. So we've got that x is, I'm flipping the sign, less than, and then 50 divided by 6 is negative 25 thirds, okay? So we're going to do an open circle on negative 25 thirds. Now, if you want to write it as negative 8 and 1 third, that's fine too. That doesn't bother me. Um, and x is less than that, so a number less than that is going to go this direction, okay? It's going to go this direction. Let's take a look at the second one. So we're going to distribute negative 3x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. So what I'm working on is those simplification skills, distributing, combining like terms, all those skills that we worked on earlier in the year, they're coming back. We're going to continue to refresh our memory. So negative 3x plus 2x is negative 1x. Minus 10 is less than or equal to 15. I'm going to add 10 to both sides because 10 is undoing. Minus 10, so negative 1x is less than 31. We're going to divide both sides by negative 1. So when you divide by a negative number, what you need to do is flip the sign. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip the sign. So then x is greater than negative 31. x is greater than Huh. I did a mistake. Let me fix it real quick. Um, that was a 10. My handwriting wasn't super neat. So let's try this again. 15 plus 10 is 25. Divide by negative 1. X is flip the sign, because I'm dividing by a negative number, is greater than negative 25. Negative 25. Open dot. Shed to the right. All right, let's try a couple more. Here we go. Looking on this first one on the left, we have the quantity x plus 5 divided by 4. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So x plus 5 is greater than 40. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, so x is more than 35. So the, the fraction bar is a grouping symbol, so I have the numerator and I have the denominator, and so I multiply both sides by the denominator. Um, and then from here, it's gonna be an open dot because it's greater than, not greater than or equal to. 35 is the magic number, that's what goes there. And then we rotate, or shade, sorry, rotate, shade to the right. It's more than that. Okay. Um, like my little picture here. Did you catch it back here too? Don't forget to flip the sign. All right, next one. Um, 14 is less than negative 2x minus 5x. We're going to start by combining like terms. Negative 2x minus 5x is negative 10x. So 14 is less than negative 10x. I made another mistake. Shoppers got to get back on track here. Negative 7x. Um, negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip the sign. All right. And then from here, I have that x and I have negative 2. So x is 
less than negative 2 or negative 2 is more than x. So I'm going to put negative 2 here. It's an open dot because it doesn't include it. Negative 2 is more than x. Negative 2 is more than negative 5. So I'm going to put shade it this direction. Okay. All right. Um, two more, and then we'll give you some time to work. Hey, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative sign, you want to flip the sign. Let's take a look. Uh, distribute. 3 times 6 is 18x. 3 times 4 is 12. All right. Um, I want to combine these terms. So 18x minus 7 is less than or equal to 29. Um, we can add 7 to both sides. So 18x is less than or equal to 36. So again, I'm following those rules as if this was just an equation. The difference is, is if you multiply or divide by a negative number. So I'm going to divide both sides by 18. x is less than or equal to 2. So I'm going to shorten this up just a little bit. All right, so here we go. Here's a 2. We're going to put a filled in circle. And if x is less than or equal to 2, 0, negative 7, those are all to the left, and those are all less than. So I'm looking for numbers that um, when I put them in for x will make it true. And I'm going to shade that direction on the line. So here we go, one more. I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by 3 and cancel out the fraction. Now, just a note, I'm taking 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. That does not constitute switching the sign because the number I'm multiplying both sides by is positive. All right? So we've got that 2x minus 5 is more than or equal to negative 2. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So 2x is more than or equal to negative 7. We'll divide both sides by 2. x is more than or equal to negative 7 halves. So on my number line, there we go. On my number line, the number I'm going to put on there is negative 7 halves. Or, you know what, if you did negative 3.5 or negative 3.5, that's fine. Um, it's more than or equal to, so it tells me I fill it in. And then if it's more than negative 7 halves, I'm going to shade it, and it goes to the right. So there you go. All right, time to work on 10-3. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.